Well, there are a lot of new people, so I'll introduce myself. I'm Nikita, and yeah, I've been a part of book club for a very long time, longer than I can remember. But last time I was talking about failure because, um, as a lot of people know, I went skiing for the first time and I fell flat on my face. I shared a video of that, which was hilarious. A lot of people WhatsApp me after that saying that was hilarious. So that was mean, but okay. So I was talking about failure and um, surprisingly, well, I'm not Christian, but um, I have someone who comes and teaches me the Bible. Uh, and the only reason I started studying the Bible is because after having my daughter, I was kind of home alone and didn't know what to do. And someone knocked at my door and I thought, okay, well, something new to learn. Why not? I normally don't say to no to a learning opportunity. So why not Bible? Um, so I got this from the Bible, which was very surprising. It's not from any self-development book, but I thought it's very, um, it's very relevant. So I, I want to share this with you. So the Bible talks about failure and how you deal with failure, how to become resilient. But um, in, for, for a lot of people, failure comes in three different forms, okay? And the first kind is potential failure. The second kind is perceived failure. And the third kind is actual failure. I'll talk about all three of them. So the first one is potential failure, which just means that you haven't actually failed. You haven't even tried yet. Say so you're thinking of trying out something new for the first time. And it's that fear that tells you, oh my God, but what if this happens? All those what ifs of those potentially what could happen, that's potential failure. And that a lot of times hold, holds us back from trying something new just because we are scared of what the outcome would be like. And that's potential failure. So that is something that can easily stop us. And I bet uh, there, there must be things in your life that you want to try, but haven't yet tried just because you're afraid of how things might turn out. So that's potential failure that's holding you back. Um, the other kind of failure is perceived failure. Now, perceived failure is, again, not that you have failed at something, but so let's say you've started doing something, you're trying something new, and someone else is doing something similar, and they succeed before you do. And their success, you compare yourself to them, and then you think, well, they've done so much well, they've done better than me, that it comes so easily to them, which means I'm a failure. So somebody's somebody else's success you think of it as your failure but if you think about it you haven't failed it's just that they have succeeded you haven't failed yet or succeeded yet let's put it that way and that's perceived failure because you're comparing yourself to somebody else and the third one is the actual failure which is you try doing something and you fail at it you you don't get it in the first go and then that memory haunts you the next time you want to try doing the same thing that memory of the past failure haunts you you think oh my god i've tried this before and it went badly it did not end well now i'm scared to do it again and that is something that prevents you from doing it one more time so these three kinds of failures either a potential failure, just a fear of failing, the perceived failure that somebody else has done it so well, I don't know if I can do it. And the third one, which is actual failure, your own past failures holding you back. So all these kind of fears that actually hold you back are preventing or limiting your success or your potential growth. So um, interestingly, the way you can deal with this is quite simple. It's just asking yourself the question, what is it that I really want to achieve? What is it that would make me happy? Why do I want to do this? And focus on that why. Then, in, then list out the reasons, yes, what could, what could go wrong? And put in some mitigating strategies. So, okay, if I start a new business, maybe I'll go bankrupt in it. So then what can I do to prevent that? Okay, maybe I'll start at a small scale. Um, for me, when I'm in skiing, well, next time I go skiing, there's a good chance I'll fall again. So what can I do? Well, I, I'm, I'll make sure I have my helmet and my, um, my protective gear. So that's a mitigating strategy. So have that. And then most importantly, list out all the reasons that in spite of all these fears, in spite of everything that could go wrong why is it important that for you to do this and that is your driving force if you know why is it important for you to achieve what you set out to achieve that should be your driving force instead of focusing on what could what could go wrong and don't compare yourself to others because their journey is different from your journey and just because somebody else has done it better or done it before you does not mean that you can't do it so focus on yourself focus on 
what is driving you what is it that you want to achieve and the reason why you want to achieve that and that's well you'll get it so yeah that's about it it was quite a nice thing from the bible which i was surprised to hear and i thought okay well let me share that so yeah thank you